Welcome back to MMA Oddsbreaker. We're speaking today with my friend and uh, one of my former students, as you can say, on the Fight Master. Mike Bronzoulos is getting ready to fight Keith Johnson coming up on uh, Titan uh, Fighting Championships 29 on CBS Sports. Mike, we all thought that after being on uh, Fight Masters on Spike that it would propel all of our careers in the different directions and make us bigger and badder. And it's been for you, it's been kind of a struggle. You've had a, a tough time not only signing fights, but then having your fights come through and start and, and get through. It seems like even the fights you started for, something happened and, and you had to drop out of the drop off the card or and not due to your being injured, just doing the, the, the shady promoters. This is like the scene there seems to be a ton of bad promoters right now down in Texas. Yeah, um definitely having a tough time um since the Fight Master show. You know, I I didn't see uh my career um, being this difficult, you know, I thought I'd have a lot more uh, opportunities, you know, coming my way. But uh, that's life, and uh, you have to learn how to how to deal with the unexpected, I guess. You know, and that's what I'm going through now. You know, yeah, you're right. You know, I've been dealing with some uh, some shady promoters over here. Um, this is the second time in a row my fight has fallen through the week of the fight, and then this last one, this last Saturday, was actually the day of the fight, and. Uh, it's been tough, man. Right now, I feel like there's a dark cloud over me, and uh, I just keep asking God for strength and to get through this right now. That's all I can do, man, because if I don't do that and don't have a higher power right now, to, uh, you know, to keep saying I'm going to go crazy, you know, I'm going to end up, you know, not fighting anymore. And I don't want to do that. Well, how is it in training camp? Because you're getting ready, you, you ramped up, and then you have to start – you know, backing off a little bit because your fight's in two weeks and you have to back up a little bit more because your fight's in a week and then all of a sudden there's no fight for whatever reason. And then a couple of weeks later, you get called up. You're like, hey, okay, I got this other fight going on. And, and you sign up for that fight and then that falls apart through. So you're in, a training, you're in a constant ending of a training camp series and never really getting ready to show your skills. I know it's got to be frustrating and, and, and mentally taxing, but how is it physically? Like, how is it physically to be able to get into practice every day and not really sure if this, this fight's going to come through? I mean, you know, as you already know, I mean, this is a very physically taxing game that we're, that we we're involved in. And uh, it even wears on you more when you don't get the fight and you don't get that financial uh, part of the part of the job, you know, at the end of the, at the end of your job, it, it makes things even more harder. Um, you know, sponsors are going to be skeptical about sponsoring you uh, again. And it's just tough all the way around, you know. It's just a tough thing to deal with right now. Actually, I don't know how I'm holding together. It's just uh, it's one of those things, man. You just you got to be mentally, mentally, mentally stronger than anything you can think of. Well, Let's the, get through these. The know. only promotion I know that goes off very well in Texas and, and basically brings their stuff together is Legacy Fighting Championships. They tend to to have their stuff together with McMaynard. And then, of course, you know, obviously now that you're fighting for Titan, and it's on CBS Sports, it's been announced. There's no way they can pull out of it. There's no way they can back out of it. Barring Keith Johnson getting an injury or, or yourself having to pull out, this fight's a go. So that, that's got to be good news for you. Now, fighting for Titan, how is the money fighting for Titan in comparison to these other organizations? Is it better than what you were getting for some of these other smaller shows? Is it, you know, how, you know, how is it compared to, to fighting over in, uh, on, uh, uh, on Spike? Like, what's it, what's it like now? Um, honestly, um, I'm extremely excited and very grateful for the opportunity to be fighting with CBS and Titan FC on the upcoming card on the televised portion and to have it and have a contract with them. Um, the money's not exactly what I want it to be. It's, uh, you know, and you gotta start off, you gotta start off at the bottom, you know, pretty much with the promotions, each promotion, you gotta prove yourself. So I understand that and, uh, I'm willing to do that, you know, and, um, I have a really, really good hunch and a good feeling that after this fight, things are going to be very different in my life. I'm going to go in there and uh, they, if they thought people thought that I was pretty wild on the fight master show. They haven't seen anything. I'm furious, man. I haven't got the fight twice in a row. And, you know, I've got a lot to prove and I still have a, a dream, you know, to become world champion. And then it's for Titan, you know, that's a, it's a big show all over the world see on CBS and, you know, when it comes down to it, man, you know, champions being a, being a champion is being a champion, you know, and uh, it doesn't matter who it's for. So okay, this is what down, I'm going uh, for. Let's right? break down Keith Johnson, your opponent. 
Um, how do you see him as a competitor? He's, he's won his last five fights. He's got the one TKO and four submissions, two, I believe, two triangles in the, in the middle of that. And then he's also got uh, a, a couple of darts chokes. He's very long, six foot three for the weight class. He's, he's got a very long reach. Uh, how do you see him as an opponent? Uh, he's going to be a tough guy. I don't think he's had any TKO losses. And I don't, I don't, I don't think he's been stopped. I think he's only been to the decision and lost. Um, yeah, he's long, he's tall, he's, he seems to be good everywhere, but, uh, it doesn't, I mean, I just don't care. It doesn't bother me. I'm going to be, do, I'm going to do what I do and that's going to, I'm going to destroy him. Well, if you look at his record, you, you assume that Keith wants to get this to the ground as fast as possible and try and get a submission in. Obviously, if you look at how you fight, you want to keep it on the feet and, and try to, and try to get a TKO or a KO. How do you think he's going to come and attack you? Do you think he's going to try and stand the outside and use his range and his reach? What do you think he's going to try to step inside, try to get a hold of you and, and try to start the pummel and try to put you on the ground? Yeah, you know, maybe maybe a little bit of both. I don't know how good his shot is. You know, being that tall, I don't know how quick he's going to be. So he might look to put me on the cage or try to put me on the cage and uh, maybe go for a takedown there. But I just I just don't see it happening, man. I just I really don't. I'm going I'm to knock him out. Who are you going to with to get ready for this fight? I'm sorry. Uh, who are you been training with to get ready for I this could, fight? I'm back with uh, Saul Solis, my head no. coach no. and trainer that I've had since I was 17 at Metro Fight Club. Uh, I'm training with uh, some of his pros. One of them is Aaron Reeves. He's an up and coming. Uh, he's an up and coming welterweight man. He's like four zero now. He fights in Legacy. You're going to be hearing about him pretty soon. Uh, there's, there's some other guys over there too, but. Um, you know, mainly Saul's been mentoring me and coaching me and just putting me with whoever he's got at the time. And uh, we have a really good training camp over there. We train very hard. And uh, I'm in the best shape of my life. And I'm, you know, after this fight, I didn't, you know, after this fight being called off the other night, I'm, I'm right back in training camp. So, man, I'm going to be in great shape. What uh, What else are you, are you still working outside of outside the fight game? To, to keep, I mean, you have to be to keep your bills coming in because the fights have been falling apart for you. So, what, what are you doing for work to keep your to keep your mortgage paid? You know, I was doing some personal training. You know, uh, in between my classes and stuff, my training sessions. So, that's been helping out a lot. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, that's Mike Monzillo. Getting ready to fight Keith Johnson coming up here on Titan FC twenty nine. You'll see it on CBS Sports. Good luck, Mike. We'll talk to you soon, buddy.